Hey everybody! Today I'm going to be doing a little project. I found this little wooden um, plaque at the craft store and I thought it was kind of pretty so I thought I would um, pour on it. So I've got my colors picked out. Let me scoot this a little bit. And here's my colors. Um, I've got phthalo blue, I've got a custom green blue that I make, and then I've got two other. This one is, I'm not sure the name of this one, I'll put it in the um, comments. It's like a sky blue. And then this one is called um, ocean green. It's really pretty. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to start with my cup. And I'm going to put the ocean green in the bottom, just a little bit. And then I'm going to put the blue green on top of that, just lightly. I'm not squeezing very hard. You can see that it's not mixing. It's, it's um, sitting right on top there. Actually, I think I'm going to put a couple squirts of alcohol in there. Then I will put my phthalo blue on top of that. And a little bit more of this green, ocean green. I think that's about it. I may need to make some more, but we're going to start with this for now. Looks really pretty. Um, so, I'm going to take my stick and I'm just going to give it a zhuzh. A couple little zhuzhs. And I'm just going to flip it on there. Let it sit there for a second. And I'm not sure what's going to happen with the holes there. Hopefully it goes through nicely. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to lift it. It's always so pretty in the cup. Alright, so I'll give you a close up. You can see how pretty the colors are. I may have to go through like that spot right there, still got a little paint. Um, and yeah, there's a few more, so I'll have to go 
over it with my airbrush or even a toothpick. Um, anyway, so that is um, going to have to dry for a few weeks and then I will be back for the next part. All right, I will be back. Hey everybody, so I'm back with the next step in my project. Um, I found this at a craft store. It's it's made out of wood. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wood finish and I'm going to put it on this. And um, the color that I'm using is red mahogany. And the reason I'm using it is because it's already available. It's what I have on hand. So that's what I'm using and that's why I'm using it. Anyway, so I just have an old um, piece of, I don't know, leftover t-shirt or something. And um, I just cut it. So I put a little bit on there. And I'm just going to go dab it on lightly. Go all the way around it. And for this, it's not really that big of a deal if it gets down on the sides because the sides are dark. So, not really that big of a deal. So just make sure you get it good and coated. Because it'll absorb it will absorb it pretty fast. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry and then I will be back um, for the next step in this project. Hey everybody, so I'm back. I've been doing a little work to um, this wood plaque. Um, I let it dry for, I don't know, two, three weeks, closer to three weeks, um, and you can see the shine to it. I went ahead and sprayed it um, with, I think, two, two light coats and then a little bit of a, more of a medium coat with the Winsor & Newton Professional Gloss Varnish. And then I got this all done also. I put a couple coats on it and then I, in between coats, I sanded a little bit. You can kind of see where it looks um, a little lighter in spots, more a little worn. And then I went over it one more time. Um, and then I also sprayed this too, so it's got a little bit of a gloss to it too. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the the words to that. So I've just got some Elmer's glue all and I'm just gonna start putting it on just a little bit. It doesn't have to be you know exact or anything just as long as you get it on there a little. And you don't need a ton because it'll smooth out once it's pressed down on there. So I'm going to actually put the letters like right down here because this part I really like and I didn't want to cover that part up. So I'm going to put it right about there and then just push down a little. And you can see that there's some that has come out so I've got a Q-tip. And I'll just go around, around there and clean that up a bit. And it'll dry clear anyway, so if you miss a little, not that big of a deal. But try to get, you know, try to get it if you can. It's a little bit harder to get in, in there. 
I do have a, wet, a baby wipe, which always comes in handy too. And those little are harder to reach places you can kind of squish that in there. Kind of go around. All right, there's a little bit in, in here I can't get. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to put something heavy on it and let that set and then I've got one more thing to do to it and then it will be all done. So I will be back once the glue has completely dried. Hey guys, so I'm back with the um, wooden plaque all finished. I added a jute rope so it can be easily hung and then you can see how pretty the design is. I had to take a pin and get all of the rest of the paint out of those the little design there. That was not very fun. But anyway, it was a little tedious, but I got it done. So anyway, it turned out really good and um, I'm really happy with it. So anyway, another little craft done and um, I hope you guys like it and Thank you for watching and don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and have a great day.